Okay, so this is a really quick tutorial just to show how you can um, deploy your React and V app to Vercel. So uh, Vercel is a nice, um, a nice place to uh, host your projects for free. You can connect your own custom domain names if you want, and it um, it does have um, links to uh, GitHub, GitLab, and um, Big Bitbucket, not Big Bucket. Um, I'm pretty sure it has Bitbucket. Um, but basically, the nice thing about that is you can um, implement your own little micro CICD pipeline where whenever you um, update your repositories, you can have it automatically kick off deployments and um, yeah, always keep your sites up to date with your repo, uh, with your Git repositories. So um, what you want to do to get this started is, um, well, actually, before we do that, I'm just going to quickly show what, what we are going to do. Um, so I do have this uh, repo that I worked on in my last tutorial. Um, it is the uh, custom UI components uh, library and showcase. And I want to go ahead and um, get this repo deployed to Vercel. So to do that, what you want to do if you haven't done it already, um, create an account. So I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to, you know, quickly show you for the fun of it. So we have a um, new account, I guess. Okay. And you can go ahead and link in your, um, your GitHub, your GitLab, or your Bitbucket. And I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to risk uh, accidentally showing a password or something. <laughs> so, but you get the idea. I'm pretty sure you can handle it from here. Um, but once you get your account set up, um, you will have this uh, little dashboard area. And you'll be able to come over to this dropdown and create a new project. Um, so we'll say project. And if you have your GitHub um, or your GitLab or your Bitbucket or whatever uh, connected, you'll be able to choose um, one of the repositories that you have. So for example, you can see different repositories and you know, there's private repositories as well. Um, but for me, in my case, I actually want to work on the uh, My UI Components Part 3 with chapters. And this is the, um, this is the, the, the code in this repo is what I want to uh, build and deploy. Now there is a caveat here. Because this is a client-side rendered app, there's a little bit of a configuration that you have to do that is specific to SPAS or single page applications. And I did go ahead and update um, my project, uh, my project's git config with this information, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull it over just to show you anyways. Um, once I find where that window went, there it is. So I left in the readme, I actually, at, Dude, I cannot aim for the life of me. So you basically want to add a Vercel.json uh, file to the root of your V project. Um, I don't know if this is for all V projects or just React V projects. So um, in my case, this is a V React project. So you add this Vercel.json to the root of your project and it's literally all it needs. And the reason you need this is to enable routing. So this is kind of relevant to my last video, which was talking about routing um, with client-side React implementations, specifically with Vite. So this is a necessity in order to get the routing to work. Um, and I think, yeah, so this link will take you to Vercel's docs to explain how this works a little bit more. But um, if you don't feel like reading, then um, feel free to just grab this file and um, or just copy pasta that code and you should be good to go. So once you have that set up, you can come in here and you can go ahead and import your project like so. And um, it's gonna detect like all the um, basic stuff. So it knows that it's V, it knows where its root directory is. And um, I can go ahead and hit deploy. Bada bing, bada boom, bada sometime, today please. Okay, so yeah, it's, um, it's deploying. And this will probably take like 30-ish seconds because it's V. Um, and what it's gonna do right now is it's just gonna go through my package JSON. Um, grab the build script, run the build script, and assuming that I don't have any errors, which I shouldn't, but yep, there we go, 18 seconds. So it took 18 seconds to build, and now I can actually access this, and there you go. So um, you'll notice that the, uh, that the repository name was automatically used to, um, to provide the, the URL. Um, it will give you a Vercel.app 
uh, by default. Um, this is a free URL, so I don't have to pay for this. Um, but if I add my own custom URL, uh, URL, excuse me, or sorry, custom domain name, I can go into my project settings and update my domain name uh, to whatever I want. Uh, assuming I own it, of course, you would have to figure out how to transfer all that stuff from your domains uh, provider. Um, but once uh, once you have this running, we can go ahead and test this. So there you go. Um, button, card, input. These are all working. I can come over here. I can uh, control C, um, go over here, control V, and automatically takes me to the appropriate link. My dark mode, light mode is working. And I think, um, yeah, I think that's basically it. Um, so, oh, and then whenever you make any changes to your... Um, to your uh, repository. If you have it set up for automatic deployments, it will actually automatically um, rebuild uh, the site and deploy it for you unless there's like any build errors or anything. Like if you have any syntax errors, it'll usually like fail and those are pretty easy to, to debug. But um, yeah, so there you go. There's um, the, the full package. Now you know how to deploy your Vita single page application to Vercel.